Hello everybody and welcome. Well, today is an important day that we want to celebrate because we've got to christen the wheel. This is this is the first of the of the leech type treadle wheels that uh, I've had made. Um, this is in fact this is in fact the prototype and the one uh, prototype is perhaps not the, be the, the, the correct word because it's not really a prototype because it was built according to a plan but when you're getting somebody who's a local carpenter to make something that they've never made before you know there are some things that um, the need to be corrected, you know, I had to go and visit the carpenter and we had to discuss things about the length of this and the length of that and so on and so forth. So uh, anyway, this is, this, this, is, this is the one that he kind of made, the very first one. And as I've, as I've been telling you in my video clips, you know, we're going to be having, we're going to be having more of these made. Anyway, I just wanted to introduce you to the wheel to this particular wheel, uh, the ones that are going to be made after this are going to be better than this even, and nicer. Um, anyway, we'll talk about it. So, here's to a new wheel, here's to you, here's to us. <laughs> Maybe we'll sell a few. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. I'm pleased with the wheel. Um, you know, always, always when when there's a new something new, you know, there's a few things that you think, oh. On this particular wheel, I hope we can see that in the picture. On this particular wheel, you can see that the around the top edge, I've actually put some of this because I like to have the top edge nice and soft to lean on you know so i put some of this stuff here um so yeah maybe we'll take the, the camera off the tripod and i'll just uh give you a, a walk around because i know you're itching to see it yeah uh, the craftsmanship is is very good um this particular one being the prototype was actually made up of wood that he had in his shop. It's actually white oak, red oak, um, cherry and something else. I forget which. So, um, as you can see, it has a galvanized lined tray here that is waterproof of course um, there is a an exit hole here with a bung to facilitate to facilitate uh, emptying the box as you can see you know compared to the normal the normal Shimpo or Brent type of wheels, it's got an enormous box, hasn't it? Uh, really, you can fill that up with a lot of clay. Not that we'd want to, of course, but we want to keep our wheel clean, I know. <laughs> Wouldn't we just? As you can see, underneath the wheel head there, there is a collar there. So that is to prevent any of the clay or water going down into the bearing. Um, also, you'll see uh, on the on the leg here, strapped to the leg, there's a um, a green piece of pipe which connects up underneath to that to that exit hole. So you know, if you want to, all you do is you put a bucket there. You see, like that, when you when you're ready to drain all your slops and all the excess water out, that's what you do. 
Okay, you'll see that the the the, the frame is held together with nuts and bolts, which are recessed into holes. Um, to suspend the chain, which is adjustable. That is the, the kicking bar, the treadle bar. I've actually added a bit of non-slip stuff there. Um, just look, looking here un underneath, just to show you the, the action. Whoops, what's that up there? Oh. Let's move those tools a moment. Um, yeah, it's actually, I tell you what, this is one of the quietest leech wheels I've ever, I've ever used. You'll notice that the, the frame, the frame of the wheel here is is braced with these sturdy sturdy metal brackets and that's at, on on both sides here you'll see it's braced like that um it's got a seat here a wooden a wooden seat the seat is made of cherry nicely nicely crafted uh, in actual fact, the ones that, that are coming after this, we're going to make this just a little bit wider. It's probably going to be an inch wider across, across there, uh, just to accommodate um, people's rear ends, you know. All the corners, I don't know if you can see the detail, but all the corners are chamfered off. All down here. Underneath here, every corner, every sharp edge is chamfered off. Um, you'll notice here it's got this little thing. Now this is actually an, an addition that I put um, on the side of my wheel. That is actually to a little place where I can put my beer. <laughs> no, it, it isn't really, that isn't really the purpose to put a beer glass there, but of course you can put a beer glass there, or a cup of tea for that matter. Um, but that's actually a place where you can put your, um, while you're in the middle of throwing, you know, you can, you can, you can put your, um, probably we'll put the leather over the over the the water pot, but you can put your you can put your throwing stick there. Uh, maybe you can put your sponge on a stick there as well. It's useful to have a place to put your tools. Undoubtedly. So. There it is, folks. It's a handsome wheel. The actual wheel itself, now I didn't tell you this, the actual wheel itself, and I forget, it's obviously made up of some kind of... Um, um, kind of planking of this material, which is... It's all been beautifully finished off, though, and... That's very nice. It actually weighs about 40 pounds. Um, just to come in here for a little bit of detail in this area here, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see the, the leather strap there. All right. Now, in actual fact, if you, take these, if you take this plate off here and that one over there, it gives you access to four holes one two three four where you can add extra ballast if you want to 
which will give extra weight to the wheel. Having said that, I think the wheel is actually, actually about right. Up underneath there, there is a bearing as you can see. And further on down underneath, you'll see there's a bearing there as well. So, this, this particular wheel is actually made of wood that he had in his shop and he didn't really think it was good enough really. But I said, oh, come on, it's okay. For me, that'll do fine. But the, the ones that we're making, he's making after this, actually going to be made of um, maple. Uh, it'll be a slightly lighter in colour. Let's just talk here very briefly about this. You'll notice, you see, the, one of the nice things about... One of the nice things about this wheel is that it's, it can, it's adjustable. You can adjust it for different heights, and it's adjusted in three places. You adjust it here. You see that these, these bolts that go through here. Well, this piece can raise or lower, all right? So that raises the treadle bar at this point here. It's also adjustable right, right here. At the moment, as you can see, it's right in, the low, in a low position. Okay, it's right down there in the lowest position, but it can come up all this way here, you see. And, and likewise, the chain, the chain, you see, you can adjust it here, here on the chain, just by raising it a link, a link or two, you know, according to, according to what you want. So... Put my camera back on his, the old tripod a minute. Yeah. So there it is. Um, what we're doing, what we're doing is aiming to, we're aiming to sell this wheel for $1,500. That's the price, $1,500. Um, oh, there's one little thing I didn't show you. Right on the, right on the end there, right on the end, I'll just show you as we're here. Right on the end and up underneath, you see it's got a, these hooks. These hooks are to put a towel so that while you are um, while you're on the wheel, while you're making, you can reach just behind you and just behind you there, you, there, there will be a towel. So, that's that. Yeah. Now, actually, the seat, the seat itself is, is quite hard in a way, and I recommend that you pad it with something. You know, you just put a piece of blanket on it or some foam or something like that, and either just nail it to it or tape it on or do something like that. Um, yeah, I didn't speak about the wheel head, of course, the wheel head on these comes off very easily, you see, that's the wheel head, it easily, so when you want to clean out your wheel, all you do is take the wheel head off, okay, and then you can get access in here, clear all this out, pull out the plug, let the water go down, the wet part go down into the bucket, all right, and then this just goes back on here like that. Well, that's the case with this wheel, and that's as per the original leech wheels that had what we call a Morse taper on the top of the shaft, which enabled them to just lift the wheel head off, you see. 
Um, in fact, the ones that we are going to have now made, the latest ones that we're going to have made, are not going to have that kind of fitting. They're going to have the traditional normal fitting that any old Brent or uh, Shimpo wheel would have, which is basically, you know, you're familiar with them, aren't you? One of these, um, one of these guys, you'll, you'll, you'll have a, a T-bar like this with a, an Allen screw, and you'll have to just put the Allen screw under there like that, and just give it a, give it a turn, uh, release the screw, and then it just lifts off, you see? It's, we, we, it worked out. It worked out really better to do it like that than have the guy in the machine shop have to fabricate this wheel and the Morse taper. It was going to be too expensive. So what we've done is we've um, we're just keeping the top of the wheel head a straight a straight shaft with a flat on it, and then we put an, a traditional ordinary. It'll have a 12-inch aluminium wheel head should look really nice because these wheel heads this particular wheel head here is um, is made is made of steel is made of steel you know uh, I tell you it's solid solid steel and it's pretty heavy <laughs> so these ones will be much lighter easier to take off they won't rust this 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 will rust the old leech wheels, they always rusted the wheel heads, you know. So you come to your wheel the next day and you find you find that it's uh, got a nice brown tinge of rust on it, which you've got to first clear away before you start throwing. <laughs> This leech trimmer wheel. Now, if you if you looking at this, you feel you like it, then 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 think about it. Think about it. And to be quite honest, I don't really recommend these kind of wheels for out and out beginners. You know, if you are struggling, so you know, to throw a cylinder, well, you may be better off with an electric wheel. Because the problem with these kind of wheels is you're trying to you're kicking it as well as throwing and sometimes you're trying to do two, diff two different distinct things at once and um, having said that you know plenty of people will have learnt on one of these wheels from the word go you know from scratch and um, I recommend them because they allow you to work at the speed that you want to work at not that the, the motor is dictating to you. Have you ever found you're on a, I'm very often I see people here in, the, in the, on a workshop and I have to say to them, hey, slow down, slow down. <laughs> speed, speed will kill your pot. If you're going too fast, speed will kill it because if you've got a little bit of wobble there, you know, centrifugal force will take over and if you're going too fast, the next thing, <laughs> curtains. It'll be down, it'll be, it'll have flown off the side. So, I like to see people slowing down a little bit it, with their throwing. Would be, wouldn't be a bad thing, get a little bit more feeling into the work. Um, and may, may, may less like a machine, but more uh, as a, a really a handmade object. I think it is, is the way to go. So. I recommend this wheel to you. We are having five of them made. If you're interested, just get in touch with me. You know how to do that through the website, simonleachpottery.com. Okay, everybody, have a great weekend. We're running a workshop here again, so we're going to be busy. And I'll be making pots on this wheel, so that should be fun. <laughs> okay, bye-bye for now. And don't forget, as they say, keep practicing. Keep practicing. <laughs>